In her new book, The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama shares her wisdom and insights on how to find strength, build relationships, and live a resilient life. Drawing on her own experiences as a mother, daughter, spouse, friend, and first lady, Obama offers readers a roadmap for navigating the challenges of life and finding their own light. The book is divided into three parts. Part 1 is titled Finding Your Strength, Part 2 is titled The Power of Relationships, and Part 3 is titled Building Resilience. In each part, Obama shares personal stories and insights on the topics of strength, relationships, and resilience. The book is written in a conversational style and is full of humor and wisdom. Obama's goal in writing the book is to help readers find their own light and to use it to make the world a better place. Here are some of the things you can expect to learn from the light we carry, how to find your strength, Obama shares her own journey to find strength, and she offers readers advice on how to do the same. She writes about how she used to be very hard on herself, and how this caused her a lot of pain. However, she eventually learned to be kinder to herself, and this helped her to find her strength. How to build strong relationships, Obama shares her own experiences with relationships, and she offers readers advice on how to build strong and lasting relationships. She writes about how her family and friends were a great source of strength for her, and she encourages readers to find their own communities of support. How to build resilience, Obama shares her own experiences with overcoming challenges, and she offers readers advice on how to build their own resilience. She writes about how she used to get discouraged easily, but she eventually learned to stay positive even in the face of adversity. The Light We Carry is a powerful and inspiring book that will stay with you long after you finish reading it. It is a must-read for anyone who is looking for guidance, hope, and a reminder that we are all in this together. In addition to the topics mentioned above, Obama also writes about the importance of self-care, forgiveness, and gratitude. She encourages readers to take care of their physical and mental health, to forgive those who have wronged them, and to be grateful for the good things in their lives. The light we carry is a message of hope and resilience. Obama reminds us that we all have the strength to overcome any challenge we face. All we need to do is find our light, build strong relationships, and be resilient. In part one of the light we carry, Michelle Obama writes about the importance of finding your strength. She shares personal stories about her own journey to find strength, and she offers advice on how readers can do the same. One of the most important things Obama emphasizes is the importance of self-compassion. She writes about how she used to be very hard on herself, and how this caused her a lot of pain. However, she eventually learned to be kinder to herself, and this helped her to find her strength. Obama writes, I used to be so hard on myself. I would beat myself up over every mistake I made, and I would never give myself a break. But eventually, I realized that I was being too hard on myself. I was human, and I was going to make mistakes. So I started to be kinder to myself. I started to forgive myself for my mistakes, and I started to focus on my strengths instead of my weaknesses. And when I started to be kinder to myself, I found my strength. Obama also writes about the importance of finding your community. She writes about how her family and friends were a great source of strength for her, and she encourages readers to find their own communities of support. Obama writes, My family and friends have always been my biggest source of strength. They have been there for me through thick and thin, and they have always believed in me. I am so grateful for their support. And I know that if you don't have a strong community of support, it can be really tough to find your strength. So I encourage you to find your community. Find the people who love and support you, and who will always be there for you. And when you find your community, you will find your strength. Finally, Obama writes about the importance of believing in yourself. She writes about how she used to doubt herself, but she eventually learned to believe in her own abilities. She encourages readers to do the same, and she reminds them that they are capable of anything they set their minds to. Obama writes, I used to doubt myself a lot. 
I would always compare myself to others, and I would always feel like I wasn't good enough. But eventually, I realized that I needed to stop comparing myself to others. I needed to focus on my own strengths and abilities. And when I did that, I started to believe in myself. I realized that I was capable of anything I set my mind to. And when you believe in yourself, you can achieve anything. Obama's message in part one of the light we carry is a powerful one. She reminds us that we all have the strength to overcome any challenge we face. All we need to do is find our strength, find our community, and believe in ourselves. In part two of the light we carry, Michelle Obama writes about the power of relationships. She shares personal stories about the people who have helped her along the way, and she offers advice on how readers can build strong relationships. One of the most important things Obama emphasizes is the importance of being present. She writes about how she used to be so busy that she often missed out on important moments with her family and friends. However, she eventually learned to slow down and be present, and this made her relationships much stronger. Obama writes, I used to be so busy all the time. I was always running around, and I never had time to just be present with the people I loved. But eventually, I realized that I was missing out on so much. I was missing out on the little moments that make life so special. So I started to slow down. I started to take the time to be present with the people I loved. And when I did that, my relationships got so much better. I started to appreciate the little things, and I started to savor the moments we had together. And when you're present, you can really connect with the people you love. You can really feel their love, and they can really feel yours. And that's what makes a relationship so special. Obama also writes about the importance of communication. She writes about how she used to be afraid to communicate her feelings, but she eventually learned that communication is essential for healthy relationships. She encourages readers to be open and honest with their loved ones, and she reminds them that communication is a two-way street. Obama writes, I used to be afraid to communicate my feelings. I was afraid of being judged, and I was afraid of being rejected. But eventually, I realized that communication is essential for a healthy relationship. If you can't communicate your feelings, then you can't really connect with the other person. So I started to be more open and honest with my loved ones. I started to tell them how I was feeling, and I started to listen to how they were feeling. And when I did that, our relationships got so much better. We were able to connect on a deeper level, and we were able to support each other through the good times and the bad. And when you can communicate with the people you love, you can really build a strong and lasting relationship. Finally, Obama writes about the importance of forgiveness. She writes about how she used to hold on to grudges, but she eventually learned that forgiveness is essential for healing. She encourages readers to forgive those who have wronged them, and she reminds them that forgiveness is not about condoning what was done, but about letting go of the anger and resentment that can poison our relationships. Obama writes, I used to hold on to grudges for a long time. I would get angry, and I would hold on to that anger for months or even years. But eventually, I realized that holding on to anger was only hurting me. It was making me bitter, and it was making me unhappy. So I started to forgive the people who had wronged me. I didn't forget what they did, but I let go of the anger and resentment. And when I did that, I felt so much better. I felt lighter, and I felt happier. And when you forgive the people who have wronged you, you can really start to heal. You can let go of the pain, and you can move on with your life. Obama's message in part two of The Light We Carry is a powerful one. She reminds us that relationships are essential for our happiness and well-being. She encourages us to be present, to communicate openly, and to forgive those who have wronged us. When we do these things, we can build strong and lasting relationships that will enrich our lives. In part three of The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama writes about the importance of building resilience. She shares personal stories about the challenges she has faced in her life, 
and she offers advice on how readers can build their own resilience. One of the most important things Obama emphasizes is the importance of staying positive. She writes about how she used to get discouraged easily, but she eventually learned to stay positive even in the face of adversity. She encourages readers to find the silver lining in every situation, and she reminds them that there is always hope. Obama writes, I used to get discouraged easily. I would give up easily, and I would never see the good in any situation. But eventually, I realized that I needed to change my mindset. I needed to start seeing the good in every situation, and I needed to start believing that things would get better. And when I did that, my life got so much better. I started to see the silver lining in every situation, and I started to believe that things would get better. And when you have a positive mindset, you can really overcome any challenge. Obama also writes about the importance of taking care of yourself. She writes about how she used to neglect her health, but she eventually learned that taking care of yourself is essential for resilience. She encourages readers to eat healthy, exercise regularly, and get enough sleep. Obama writes, I used to neglect my health. I would eat junk food, I wouldn't exercise, and I wouldn't get enough sleep. But eventually, I realized that I needed to take care of myself. I needed to eat healthy, I needed to exercise, and I needed to get enough sleep. And when I did that, I felt so much better. I had more energy, I was less stressed, and I was just happier. And when you take care of yourself, you can really build your resilience. You can better handle stress, and you can bounce back from setbacks. Finally, Obama writes about the importance of finding your purpose. She writes about how she used to feel lost and without purpose, but she eventually found her purpose in helping others. She encourages readers to find their own purpose, and she reminds them that when we find our purpose, we find our strength. Obama writes, I used to feel lost and without purpose. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, and I didn't know what I was good at. But eventually, I realized that I had a purpose. I realized that I wanted to help others, and I realized that I was good at it. And when I found my purpose, I found my strength. I found something to fight for, and I found something to believe in. And when you find your purpose, you can really overcome any challenge. Obama's message in Part 3 of The Light We Carry is a powerful one. She reminds us that we all have the strength to overcome any challenge we face. All we need to do is stay positive, take care of ourselves, and find our purpose. When we do these things, we can build our resilience and live a happy and fulfilling life. In the epilogue of The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama offers a final message of hope and resilience. She writes, We are all in this together. We are all connected and we all have the power to make a difference. So let's light up the world. Let's carry our light with us wherever we go. And let's never give up hope. Obama's message is a powerful one. She reminds us that we are all part of something bigger than ourselves. We are all connected, and we all have the power to make a difference. When we light up the world with our own light, we can make the world a better place. The Light We Carry is a powerful and inspiring book that will stay with you long after you finish reading it. It is a must-read for anyone who is looking for guidance, hope, and a reminder that we are all in this together.